Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What's up guys? Back at Publix for some more Instacart action. Today, I'm doing Instacart On Demand. I finally saw some On Demand batches pop up that were at my local Publix. I was hoping I could, there's two of them that popped up at the same time. I was hoping I could grab both. That was the plan. So I grabbed the smallest one first and then wouldn't let me grab the other one, which sucks, but I'm gonna go inside, get the small one, drop it off, and see if any more pop up at this guy right here. Ready? Let's go. loaded up and ready to roll got drop off is right under 10 minutes i think it said like nine minutes away and what do you know it's 4 21 it said deliver by 4 30 so the countdown is on <laughs> are we gonna make it no pressure no pressure a little bit of pressure obviously you always want to try and beat the delivery time goal. So if it says like deliver by 4.30, obviously you wanna try and beat that. So that's the goal. Um, like I said, I picked up this demand delivery and I was just like, I was sitting at home doing other stuff. I was working on, uh, I was actually doing design work, working on some new sticker designs and some new t-shirt designs. And I was just randomly trying, I was actually started out looking at uh, DoorDash to see if there's any shifts for maybe later. And I, Instacart keeps blowing up my phone with these notifications for these on-demand deliveries. I think they've sent me like 30 something notifications today. And I haven't looked at any of them. Finally, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna look at the last two it sent me. And what do you know? Like I said, they were both to the Publix right down the road. And my little man was napping. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go grab one of these on-demand deliveries, see what it's all about. And here we are. But like I said, I was working on design stuff, so I wasn't exactly ready to like run out the door and go grab the order. So it took me a couple minutes to uh, get ready. So that is why there's a little bit of pressure and we're gonna be pushing this one close as far as time goes. But I think we're still gonna make it. It's 422. It says we're eight minutes away. Oh, oh, uh-oh. It's 423 now. <laughs> eight minutes away. That's all right. We're gonna push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. Walk along the razor's edge. And we're gonna make it. I have confidence. I'm feeling very optimistic about this. And to be quite honest, I don't think the customer is gonna care too much if we get there at 431. Honestly, they're probably not even paying that much attention to it. But I like giving myself little goals. It makes these deliveries a little bit more entertaining if you feel like there's a little bit of pressure. So in my mind, there's like five seconds left in the game. We got that last shot. All right, actually, it's not really like that at all. <laughs> not at all. We're not shooting for any championships or anything. We're just trying to hit the time a goal or whatever the heck you even want to call it. Anyways, I got to use my phone for uh, driving directions. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Come on, Mr. Red Light. Do you even care about my delivery on time percentage or whatever it's called? Clearly you don't, because if you did, you would turn from red to green, right? Meow. All right, we got a green arrow, so I guess uh, that kind of worked. Didn't really help me out too much, because I'm trying to go straight. Update time, because I know you guys just cannot get enough of my updates. It's 425, and we're five minutes away. If this freaking light would help us out, there it goes, green light. We are good to go. 
if Mr. Camry would find his gas pedal. All right. We rolling. Let's roll. All right. So I know you guys were sweating whether or not we were going to make it on time. Well, let me ease your mind a little bit. No worries. We made it. Cha-ching. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> nah. Like I just showed you, it's 433. But no reason it was three minutes later. Like I said, that uh, batch said drop off by 4.30. I pulled in to the driveway at like 4.28, 4.29. As you guys saw, there's only three bags. I grabbed them out of the trunk real quick, sprinted to the lady's door, pressed the doorbell, and I was like, take them, it's almost 4.30. Nah, I actually casually walked there, but I still made it. I got back to my car and it said 4.30. The only reason it was 4.33 when I recorded that little bit is because I didn't want to, I had to, uh, first of all, I had to take this guy out of my backpack, which is my other iPhone. Hello, guys. <laughs> and I had to wait for it to turn on, which is a little bit of a process. And then I don't want to wait in the, the uh, customer's driveway, you know, for a couple minutes while I'm waiting for my phone to turn on so I can record myself talking to myself. She might think I'm a little cuckoo. So, uh, yeah, I pulled out of her driveway drove up a little bit to where there was no houses in this neighborhood and that's, that's where I just was. So, uh, now that I uh, eased your mind, you're welcome for that. You guys don't have to sweat it. I'm sweating a little bit. But that's just because it's super hot outside. It's 145. Oh, well, that's, uh, that's the trip mileage. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. 97 degrees. All right, that's still pretty dang hot and it takes like two seconds standing outside to start sweating. Exhibit a but uh, oh man good times right guys hanging out with jeremy on a monday oh speaking of happy memorial day i respect the heck out of any and all past and current service members so if you are in the armed forces or you're a veteran i seriously uh mean this i don't i hope i'm not getting lost with uh I do want to say um, I appreciate your service for real. This is uh, me not joking around for once, which I'm usually doing a lot of. I'm pretty sure I'm lost, but I'll figure out where I'm going in a second. Let me finish what I'm saying. For real, if you are a current member of our armed forces or a veteran, I'm just going to pull over. <laughs> Thank you for your service. It really means the world to me. I respect the hell out of anybody that does serve. And now I should probably, uh, I'm passing a cop right now, so I guess I should look like I know what I'm doing. Anyways, where in the world am I? I don't know what to do now. I'm not like, I'm not logged in. I mean, I am logged into Instacart, but I'm not like on a sh shift right now. I'm not working a shift. Um, I guess I'm on demand, on call. Maybe I should check to see if there's any more orders. I don't think there is, I'm pretty sure when I, <laughs> recorded my screen and it told me that I made zero dollars. You guys saw that big goose egg? I don't think it said there were any more batches available for on demand at the moment, but uh, I think I just figured out where I am and I'm pretty sure I gotta go that way. <laughs> so let me pop a Yui real quick and I think there's a target like right down the road if I know where I am. If there is, I'm pulling that target parking lot which is right by that Jeremiah's, which if you guys watched my videos, I think my last vlog, I was telling you guys about Jeremiah's. If you don't know, you probably still don't know if you uh, didn't watch that vlog. But if you tasted Jeremiah's, you know. You know what I'm talking about. That stuff is delicious. So I'm kind of tempted to go grab some of that. You know I probably shouldn't be eating dairy. The struggle is real, guys. These are the kind of choices that you gotta make sometimes in life that really define your future. <laughs> oh boy, I'm just trying to entertain myself, guys. Sorry. I know some of you might think I'm a little, as my little man would say, what's he say? Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? See? I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! I think that's how the saying is supposed to go from the commercial back in the day. You guys know what I'm talking about if you're a 90s kid or maybe like a late 88 kid. 
or maybe I don't even know when that commercial honestly that commercial is probably from the 90s maybe in the 2000s I don't know it's a freaking Cocoa Puffs commercial he said like you're cuck- we're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs I don't know it's like a bird or something anyways my little man doesn't quite get it right so he says you are what does he say he says I'm Cocoa for Cuckoo Puffs I don't know what Cuckoo Puffs are but they sound kind of delicious especially right now I kind of forgot about eating lunch it's 440 right now kind of hungry <sighs> anyways guys we got a green light Welcome to my crazy, random, spontaneous, adventurous life. If you're new to my channel, a lot of this, these kind of talks and ran, random, randomness happen in my videos. So, so welcome if it's your first time. Oh yeah, we are going the right way. That looks familiar, I think. Maybe. Hold on. We should see the target. Get it? The target? In like 10 seconds if I'm going the right way. I don't know. The anticipation is killing you. It's killing me too, guys. It's killing me too. Oh, yeah. We made it. Almost. I just gotta make this turn. I'm so nervous. So nervous. Alright, this dude's seriously trying to hit me, so now I am a little bit nervous. Yo, this is not bumper cars, brother man. These people. The Kia Sadies could not handle a bump. It can barely even handle a pothole. I'm just being completely honest. All right, guys, we're in the Target parking lot, kinda. I thought I just got another notification from an Instacart. And even though I've been ignoring you all day long, Instacart, my apologies. Now I, I need some notifications thrown my way. I need some more batches. Don't take my spot. Don't do it. I'm not, I see you looking at it. Or maybe you're just looking at me talking to myself. All right, we got a spot. Time to bust this dude out so you guys can see what I'm seeing and check out the Instacart app. And here we go. Uh, hello? Knock, knock. Oh, all right. It's going to throw that goose egg in my face right when I open up the app. I'm confused. Did it already pay me the 12 bucks? Is that why it doesn't even say it? Or maybe it just doesn't count these on-demand batches for deliveries. I don't know what's going on with my voice, guys. It keeps cracking, so my apologies for that. What is going on? Somehow I just wound up in DoorDash. Let's try that again. Back to Instacart. Go at the top. Hello? Hello? Uh, dashboard? No batches available. We'll notify you of any batches. All right, now would be a sweet time. You've been blowing up my phone all day long. I was just trying to enjoy the pool with the fam earlier and you just kept hitting me up Instacart. And now that I actually want to talk to you, and I want some work, you want nothing to do with me. What's up? Show me some love, please. Alright, I'm going back to the DoorDash, see what they have for me. Uh, well, it's not looking good. If there was anywhere you'd, you would dash, it would be red. So you guys can see all these areas. Pretty much every single one of them is gray, which means no time slots. Oh, there's one. That one's all the way at the beach. That's a little bit too far right now. Let's see what we're working with. Available. Show me something. Ooh, Gainesville. That's where the University of Florida is. Looks like there's a lot of times. So ooh, there's my zone right there at the bottom. 8.39. What a time slot. That is awesome. You're too generous, DoorDash. 30 minutes is too much for me, though. I'm going to have to turn that one down. All right, guys, so for those of you that do Instacart and you're interested in the on-demand batches, go into your little app, and they will pop up right here. And then you just click on it where it says View Batches, and it will show you what kind of batches they got going on. So you can grab, <clears throat> clear my throat again, you can grab any three of these, and it will tell you, like, obviously where that location or where that grocery store is at. So none of these are the one right by me, so I'm not going to pick any of these up, but... If you want to see more about the order, I'll we'll just click on this one. Shows you where the grocery store is. You can see I'm all the way up here. That's the grocery store. And then obviously that's where the customer is. And then it gives you like the whole little breakdown. It says how much Instacart pays you, how much the tip would be. That one doesn't have a tip. And then it says if it's what kind of order it is. This one's delivery only, total mileage, and it even shows you all of the items. So it gives you pretty good amount in details. I won't accept this one because no tip is. <laughs> but uh, let's go back and check out one more. 
I know. See if uh, full service for nine bucks. That doesn't sound too good. I'll check out another delivery only. Ooh, this one's on fire. I'm not sure how, because this one has no tip too. Ah, that's why. Oh. Alright, so someone grabbed that, but we can still see it says four door peak boost included and the total is nine bucks. Without the four door peak boost, this batch would only be paying five bucks, which is pretty awful. So I wouldn't want that one anyways. Not that I can grab it. It's so like I said that Publix isn't by me. Here's one. Ooh, here's a new one that just popped up for seven fifty. Check this one out. Dang, I don't know what's up with the no tips. The one I grabbed earlier, you guys saw it paid seven bucks, and there's a five dollar tip. All right, so turns out I went back to my earnings, and this is what I actually got paid eight twenty two. So Instacart paid me five bucks for that order, and then the customer tip was three twenty two. When I looked at it right after I dropped that order off, it said zero bucks. So I was thinking this 12 bucks was from that order, but I'm guessing that's actually what Instacart paid me for the Instacart order I did, I think it was yesterday or the day before. So this is the one from today, my bad. Five plus 322 equals 822, but at least I got a tip, so. And it wasn't too bad, like I showed you guys. It was only three bags, and the customer only lived like four miles away, so it was a pretty easy one. At least it finally showed up though. And before I wrap this video up, I can't remember if I said this or not at the beginning of the video. When I originally, I told you guys, like, I wasn't planning on doing Instacart. I was just sitting around working on my computer, doing design stuff, and those, I decided to randomly look at Instacart. I think I did actually say this. And there was two on-demand orders, and both of them were at the Publix right down the road. So my original plan was to grab both of them at the same time. So I grabbed, I'm pretty sure I'm repeating myself. This sounds familiar, I'm having deja vu. If not, you guys get to hear it a second time. Yay! All right, so I grabbed, I think I grabbed the small one first, the one that was closer, and then I was hoping it would let me pick up the other one after since they were at the exact same store. And when you're actually like working a normal Instacart shift, a lot of times you'll get, especially delivery only orders from the same like Publix or whatever that uh, grocery store may be. So I figured it'd definitely let me pick up two on-demand orders if they're from the same store. Turns out you can't, unless I'm missing something, which kind of sucks. It's obviously be a lot more efficient and easier to make more money if you can hit up, you know, more than one order, more than one on-demand order at the same store if you're already going there. But uh, for whatever reason, they don't let you do that, or at least it doesn't appear that they do. So it is what it is. There you guys go. If you had any questions about on-demand batches with Instacart, I hope this video helped answer some of those. If not, my apologies. <laughs> this is the first time I've done it, so uh, I'm kind of learning as I go. It seems like it's pretty straightforward though. They just pop up right in your little dashboard on your Instacart app, and then you can see where they're located. Like I showed you guys, you can see all the details and you can decide whether or not you want to grab it. Um, obviously it's first come first serve though, so whichever whoever grabs it first gets that specific order and that's all there is to it and that is all there is to this video hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching if you got any questions or comments about anything i covered in this video as always drop them below i'll try and help you out either way i hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your memorial day once again thank you to all the veterans or current service members out there um, really appreciate what you guys do for our country with that said I think that's it. Oh, one more thing. Stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, thank God, you were only make believe. Those